Ninja Bound. The person at the front desk is telling me that they don't use booking sites and that I need to pay at the front desk for something that I've already paid for electronically. Right now I'm at the Sigma Apartments. They're kicking me out. They're putting me on the streets. They're kicking me. They're ki you want to be on camera? In, in all seriousness, this was a, a traumatizing experience. All right, so I just got to my room and damn it, this room is nice. It was well worth it. This is the way I should be living. Who do you think it could be? Who do you think? Who do you think? Boom! It's Chibu! Hey, good morning. Let me get my camera situated. All right, this is my third day in Ghana, and I believe day 24 overall. And I am getting ready to go to Jabby Lake Park to do some morning exercise. So I want to give a special thank you to Sylvia's World, who listed in the, in the comments things to do. And this was one of the things she listed to do in Ghana, well not, oh my goodness, in Abuja. And so, wait a minute, where did I say I'm at? Oh Lord, this is, I'm so tired. Because remember last night we went out to go hang and I had my pina colada, etc. And um, are you bringing me the paper? Let me see. Thank you, thank you. This is what's going on in Nigeria right now. All right, so this is my day three in Nigeria. Oh my gosh, no, my day three in Abuja. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Listen, I don't know. See, I'm just, I'm just going there for the adventure of it. I don't expect that I'm going to be doing much working out this morning, but I'm going to just, um, <clears throat> I'm going to just be a part of the scene, see what it's like, because when you have very little time in a place. You've got to squeeze in as much as possible. So it is Saturday morning. They say they say that they go out there at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going out there to see what it is, go bust a groove real quick, dance with some Afro beads. Because, you know, things have been... This is <laughs> my little pipa. <laughs> Just working, working it out while I'm out here. You know, I've been doing a lot of walking, etc. Waiting on the Uber to come. It's early, so I guess people are getting off. And here, Uber drivers don't just come. They send you a message, oh, where are you going, right? To get a sense of whether or not they want to go there. And if they don't, they just cancel on you. So I'm waiting for my second Uber driver because time is a ticking. It's already after 8 now, and they supposedly started at 8. So let's continue forward. Let's continue forward. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. And we are off. What's the name of this street? This highway, what's the name? Sunny Abacha. Sunny Abacha. Yeah. 
Have a good you too. Oh, there's a car trying to come out. Excuse us, sorry. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, I hear some music, but I don't hear the Afro beats. But let's see what's going on out here. It's bright and early, and there's people out here. Like it's 12 noon. Horseback riding. All right, let's see. I don't see it. I guess we have to find it. This is a huge park. Oh, Lord. People selling their wares. All right, let's see what we got here. Let me ask a lady. Oh, uh, the police. From what I hear, uh, I hear there's a group of people that come out and they dance to Afrobeat music, black music. Maybe they are here to come. Huh? Maybe they are here to be here. Oh, really? So there's no group? All right. I'll just go around and if you can locate them. Okay. All right. Go to that point. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So I do not know, but I guess we shall see. I guess we shall see. People doing all sorts of everything out here, right? I've never seen anything like this so bright and early. So many people. Never. Look, let me do a roundabout. I'm not even ready. I'm a morning person, but I ain't even ready for this. Oh, picnic style, 12 noon crowds at 8 in the morning. I wasn't ready. I'm not ready. And this person's horn sound like a car. You can, I don't know what's, what type of one. Let me turn the camera around. There's the guy with the horn. He's like, bum, bum, bum. I don't understand. You you hear him, you hear it, right? That's him. <laughs> I just can't I can't right now. Big tires to work out with. People rollerblading. They got taste of sugar cane different. Little people rollerblading. This is more live than Venice Beach. 
at 3 p.m. They hear people vigorously playing ping pong. Oh, they, oh my gracious, they're not playing. Look at the whole row of people playing ping pong. I just, I don't understand this. How people have such energy after a Friday night. I don't understand. Jogging, Ball. doing everything. We got Mr. Muscles right here. Hey. <laughs> Listen, what we, how do we find these Afrobeats people? Oh my gracious. Or is it just, you come here, and you just get in where you fit in. Oh, goodness. I would like the dust is kicking up over there. Let's cross, let's cross. All right. All right, oh no, I can't, I can't cross across their football field. Let's walk back. Huh? The what? What is he talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? Let me get onto the grass. Let me get onto the grass. All right. So, all right. So I see people doing sit-ups over here, but it looks like a group of men working on their muscles, getting their gains. All right, but I don't see any groups of women doing their acrobeats. I don't see it. Oh, gracious. So, all right, I see some ladies. All right, let's see, let's see if we, if we got it. All right, hold on. Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. I heard that at this park, if we came here at 8 o'clock in the morning, there were groups of people dancing to Afrobeat. Do you know where that is? Huh? Oh really? Oh, so alright. Alright, thank you. Thank you. So you all are gonna be looking great? Oh, this is I know the boys, they talk about Make sure you just check down there. Alright, where you went down there already? Yes. And you said no one was there. So why is he sending me down there? <laughs> all right, just to check. All right, I'll be back. I want to see you all do all of this. <laughs> all right, let's see. All right, I honestly listen. I've never seen anything like this before in all of my life. At least this shows you that Abujians. Is that what you call people from Abuja? Abujians, the bougies. <laughs> If you are an Abujian, <laughs> listen, I gotta find out what people from Abuja are called. <laughs> I wonder, because look, people are here playing. Um, what do you call that thing with the little birdie? Uh, what, badminton, badminton. Volleyball, hold on. So we got, vo we got football, volleyball. We got more football. We got the bouncy thing for the children. We got badminton. Up there we have ping pong. We got the people working out over there. People play, what is this, pool? There's pool. People are really playing billiards out here. No lie, look. Do you see the billiards table? I don't even, do they stay out here or people bring them out? So we got billiards, ping pong. And it's just, I've never, never, ever, never, ever seen anything like this before. All right, so let's see, let's see. We got bikes, rollerblading. We got a person collecting bottles, selling clothes. One person urinating in the thing down there. All right, all right. Well, 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 well. We got somebody over here jumping rope. Oh, they just, they just stopped. But you see the rope swinging, right? See the rope swinging. And then we have a group of people over here on maps. Let's see what they're doing. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, somebody's getting a massage. Other people are doing scissor kicks and... All right. 
Let's see. Let's see. Hi, good morning. I um I came here because I heard that there were there was a guy who plays Afrobeat music and people exercise to it. <laughs> Have you heard that? Do you know where it's at? Yeah, we do it here. And then there's another place there. Okay, where? That place here. So, so what's your name? Um, my name is Coach Simon. All right. Your name is Coach Simon? Yeah, Coach Simon. And All right. So what's happening over here? What 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 is this? What is this group? Okay, this group, the name of the group is um Transformer Fitness uh what's called? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, people I see someone getting their foot massaged and all of this happening yeah of course <laughs> it's happening so how much so what is what are the rules so people come how many people can come how much does it cost okay um people come here like every day mm -hmm. um so monday through yeah. sunday yeah no no on saturday on sunday no, people come here on sunday but we don't come okay here so you sunday. come monday yeah, through saturday, saturday. Yeah. all right yeah, so um we actually come here for exercise okay so we have different exercises for you on different days really yeah so um you say someone is having a foot massage yeah so I mean, sometimes you have your know, pains on, over your foot i see i have pain yes so it actually i have a lot of pain to leave, to leave you. that a strong muscular man <laughs> can 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 help solve uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at this look nice but i tell you i tell you all right so how much does it cost though okay um uh, we, the massage is five thousand naira. okay yes but if you you're paying for a, a full month it's yeah. ten thousand okay each time no like from from oh, for, or for everything. So if you want to do it every day, you yes. get a massage every day for 10k. Yes. All right. So if you wanted, so if I wanted to work out today, how much would it cost me? Okay, it will cost you two thousand. Two thousand to yes. work out with everyone. Yes. And how do? What time should people start? So like, I got here at 8:30, but it looks like everyone is already starting. Now they're doing planks. Yeah. We actually start here as early as six o'clock. Uh, but some people can make it that early six. Yeah. So it depends on. on the so how long is a session? The session is an hour. Okay, so you go from six to seven, yes. and then again from seven to eight, and then eight to nine. Three hours here. Okay. All right. Wow, this girl is getting everything. Look at. Oh my my my. Okay. Well, thank you for for the information. You're welcome. Man. Let me see how this girl is enjoying her massage. Let's see. Sis. How is that massage? Does that feel good? Yes. It's good. It's wonderful. It's relaxing. I bet. I bet. All right. So I'm going to see how I can get in where I fit in around here. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's see. <laughs> so they have smoothies with juicers and everything. So we got the people playing their football right here. I hear. I hear Afrobeats coming from this direction. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, wow, they're dancing. Let's see. Oh, wow, look.
All right, so I'm here with the instructor. What's your name? Joe. Your name is Joe? Yes. All right, so what so what is it that you do here? Um, it's dance fitness. Dance fitness, how often do you come out? Um, here, Saturdays alone. Just Saturdays? Okay. And, um, we'll say to Bodyline. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the times that you're here? Um, 7.30 to 9, Saturdays. And how much does it cost? 1,000 naira. And it's an hour 30 minutes. Okay, so an hour 30 minutes is yeah. 1,000 naira. And you also do in Wusei? Wusei 2, yes. Okay. Wusei 2 is 2,000 for non-members and 1,500 for members. Like some people like... Oh, so hey, where is it? Is, is it at a park or is it... Also in Sunshine Park. Sunshine Park? So that how do you the, become a member then? Um, You go there then. There's a fee you're supposed to pay. Oh, the of the park. Yeah. Okay. So it's different from this one. All right. So how did you even get started doing this? Um, I joined the company last year. Which company? Burnout Global. Oh, so there's a company that yes. hired you to come here and be an instructor. Yes. And, and you, they've been you on transport since these since. big speakers every sure. week? Every it, Saturday. How? You have a van? Yeah. There's a van to come. And you have like a generator that's providing electricity and everything? Yeah. All right. Well, this video is going out to people all across the world, letting them know what a bougie is like. So how? So there's so many people here. I've never seen so many people in a park so early. <laughs> like, it's because of the festive period. Like, people are usually more than this. Re more than this? Yeah. I thought you were going to say the festive period, people are coming out. It's nah. a new year. They want to work nah. out. Nah. But you're saying there's more people than this. Yeah. They're usually Six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock. On a Saturday. And, oh. Okay. So at Busei 2, we usually have like 40 to 50. Really? Like the is really big, so. And any age can come, any, any, age. Fitness any fitness level. And all you do is you just dance and people follow along. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, thank you. Tell you everybody welcome. your name again. Joe. All right, Joe, thank you. Yeah. Well. All right. I am going to see if I could get in where I fit in. Are you going to Wusei right now or no? no. There's another instructor in Wusei. All right, well, thank you, Joe. You're welcome. All right. Well, listen. Oh, by the way, I'm Tanya TKO. Oh, yes. Hold on. All right. Just got back into the Uber, heading back to the hotel to have breakfast, to break my fast this morning after I got my little walk on and my little sun and fun in the park. All right. I'll see you in a minute. All right. So this is my breakfast this morning. Waffles with fruit and ice cream but they put the ice cream on top of the fruit and some oj so this is this is my breakfast that i'm about to dig into yum so the waffles are not light and fluffy like the ones in the u.s they're actually very stiff dull but this ice cream is some of the best ice cream i've ever tasted anywhere I'm going to have to find out what brand they're, they're using, and I'll tell you all, because this ice cream is so good, and I've never had ice cream with fruit. You don't even need the syrup, because the ice cream is so good. So, this is the paper. This is in the Nation paper. And outrage as a 100-year-old plateau community sets two children ablaze, accuses them of witchcraft. So basically, there is some teenage girl who's supposed to be able to have insight into the other world or the spiritual world. And she claimed that this little girl and the little boy here, so they are five and 11, I believe, right? The father brought them to the center. Somebody got some petrol from a motorcycle and set the children on fire to kill them in front of everyone because the teenage girl said that the community was doing bad because these two are evil witches and they wanted to set them on fire and kill them in front of everyone so that it would be a deterrent to other witches in the area. And so basically um, it is claimed that the community wouldn't do good and wouldn't prosper financially unless these children were killed. And so they went to kill the children, one of the accusers, without any type of proof or whatnot. And the worst part about it is that it said that the father, that the father is the one who took them to the set, who lured them to the center of the town to have them executed that way. And it's so sad. I'm like, what year is this? This is 2020. 
And then we got this next article. Let me read this one. How Randy Artisan tricked widow into sexual affair, defiles her teenage daughters. I had their mother's consent. He told me my sick son would die if I didn't consent. Just let's read this and see what, what this is about. All right, so this is interesting. So this guy, 34, meets this woman who's 39, and her husband had died just one month before. So this 35-year-old man tells her that her son's mysterious illness can be cured by him sleeping with her daughters and wiping their privates with a white cloth. So basically, one girl was 13, the other girl was 19, and the mother coerced them into letting this man violate them in order to be able to save the family from illness and, um, and, and to save, the, save the, the son from some mysterious illness that he had. And so he was supposed to violate them. I don't like the way, I don't like the way they, they state this, right? Um, they only had to do it for two few days, but trouble began when he continued to extend the duration of his fear, a fear with the innocent girls by several weeks, making love to them day and night. Come on, that was not making love. That was violating them. I, did, I just... <sighs> but I, I'm seeing that there's a lot of stories in the news about the occult and... and and curses and that type of stuff. Mainstream news, I find this fascinating. There was a bank robbery in Abuja and all of these, oops, all of these stories are coming out about how the robbery was able to go down. So the gang members recruited several people from the bank and it seems like even customers were recruited to go in on it. It's, this is fascinating. Couple battles to retrieve 1.2 million Naira lost in search of Chinese American visas. They're just these stories are just so engaging. Oh wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And one million Naira is about four grand. And this is in the Vanguard. All right, so there was a kidnapping where a girl and her mother were coming out of their home and in their car, they would jump by bandits. They took both the mother and the daughter. The mother was thrown out or jumped down and then the girl was held for 20 million Naira. And then the next day, which is today, the father was told where he could pick up the daughter. This is from Vanguard yesterday, and this story, a father of two dies during sex competition with a commercial sex worker. Listen, so basically this man goes to this brothel, right? And he challenges this woman that he can last longer than her, but this woman was known, listen, she was infamous in the area for being able to hold her own in the bedroom, right? So the man challenges her, and then during the seventh round, the man slumped over. This is like, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. So during the seventh round of this sex competition, the man slumps over on top of her, and she's like, oh my goodness, what's, what's going on? So she jumps out from underneath him and she flees. Everyone from the brothel flees. This is just, I just, this whole story is just ridiculous. The woman is at large. They can't find her for questioning. People are telling the story. So apparently some of his mates were there. And he was bragging to his mates about how he would be able to outlast this woman. Man may have had a heart attack or who knows what happened. Was he hopped up on on ED pills? Who knows what was going on with this foolishness? But this is on page six of the doggone paper. So the father of two is now dead. It's claimed that he sent his family off to Emo State where he was free 
to be able to now do this foolishness. I just, I don't understand this mess. I just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> and so there are kidnappings here. Kidnappers tried to kidnap five female farmers who were picking ground nuts. They jumped them and luckily the, the they were able to be rescued. This is... Uh, <sighs> Have you won any yet, boo? No, yeah, no. <laughs> None. None. I'm on fire. Card games are in my jeans. What, what? <laughs> and live from Salamander Cafe. And look at this fine morsel I have next to me, this specimen right here.